here in Alexandria, Virginia at the Smart Girl Politics Summit. One of the smartest girls we know is Katie Pavlich, old friend from NRA News. Katie, hello. No pressure to be smart or anything. I mean, you give me too much credit here. Come on. Well, you know, when people say somebody wrote the book on something, you actually wrote the book on Fast and Furious, as, as is holding in your hand right here. Yes. Fast and Furious, Barack Obama's bloodiest scandal and a shameless cover-up. Um, this week, you were just talking about this in your, when you were talking to the panel about Todd, the video from Todd Jones and whistleblowers. Mm -hmm. um, very scary stuff, and because th you are trying, and a lot of people here are trying to teach people how to be whistleblowers, but when you're being retaliated against for being it, how do you get people to be not fearful of retaliation? Well, like I explained in front of the group today, um, it's 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 difficult. I mean, it comes down to the individual, uh, you know, knowing that right is right and wrong is wrong. But when it comes to the support system that they need from the public, um, it's important to let them know that if they do come out and talk about what's going on within their agency, that they have a support system. It's much easier than if they come out with the truth about something as serious as Fast and Furious or other things. I mean, um, you know, Todd B. Jones, head of ATF now, said, you know, don't you dare jump your command. They're now saying that his comments were taken out of context we just played the video in full um, they weren't I got everything's taken out of context right, exactly you don't you're too <laughs> stupid to understand right um, and so it's really important to let whistleblowers know that we believe in right and wrong in America and uh, we know that you do too and if there's something going on with your in your agency and you come out and talk about it we're gonna support you 100% of the way you know, Katie, I, I think sometimes you're in a catch-22 because you have a book about fast and furious and of course you want to sell the book but the more news comes out about Fast and Furious, which gets people interested in the book, but every time news about the Fast and Furious comes out, it's bad news. Right. So it's kind of like you, you almost don't wish it would be right. more known about, but it, it, you know, it's got to be a weird position for you. Well, my whole goal with the book was really to get it into bookstores where everyday people who aren't necessarily watching the, or, or reading the very few news outlets who are talking about it, really just to get them the whole story. And yes, the news keeps coming out about how bad it is, um, which is why they're clamping down even harder on whistleblowers and why they're continuing in, uh, to stonewall and why President Obama has asserted executive privilege. I mean, they're really clamping down on getting anyone any information. Um, but you know what? It's, it's rolling along. I mean, there was a CNN poll two weeks ago um, that showed that 53% of people in America, including independent voters, said that the contempt charges against Eric Holder were warranted and that they approve of them. And then 69% of those same people, including independent voters, said that President Obama's assertion of executive privilege was not only uncalled for, but that he should answer all questions relating to this scandal. So even though they th say that we're too stupid to understand, that things are you know, taken out of context, we're not stupid, the American people aren't stupid, and they understand what's going on here and they want the truth, and the cover-up always makes it worse, and they're continuing to d dig their own grave by continuing in that cover-up. So the NRA's all-in campaign this year, but doing everything it can to get Barack Obama out of office. Let's say Barack Obama has a second term. What does that mean for what you talk about with Fast and Furious? What does that mean for the future of your investigation? What does that mean for the future of this country? Well, um, you know, people are concerned that the investigation will simply go away, whether President Obama or Mitt Romney loses. But the bottom line is Senator Chuck Grassley is still going to be in the Senate, and Con Chairman Issa is still going to be in charge of the Oversight Committee. So as long as those guys are in office and continuing this investigation, um, I know that I, along with Matthew Boyle, I'm sure CBS News, and you guys, of course, will continue to, uh, you know, press on this. Um, it's not going away. As long as Chairman Issa is, is head of the Oversight Committee, we're going to keep seeing this dragged on. Watergate took three years. If they want this to take three years, we're ready to go. So it's just a matter of being perseverant and understanding we're going to get to the bottom. Last question. You came up through these ranks of Smart Girl and Young America's Foundation. What, what is your responsibility to pass on what you've learned and what you do and help this next generation of people who are at a summit like this? Well, it's an obligation to teach them that you know, no matter who you're taking on, whether it's a professor, a teacher in high school, grade school, or whether it's the Justice Department, um, don't be afraid. Uh, they don't, you know, they're not any better than you are. And uh, just try not to be, you know, courage is a, a big thing. So I think passing down that you can do anything if you put your mind to it and don't be afraid to is really what I'm trying to do here. Right, show us the book one more time. Tell us where we can get it. Barnes & Noble and uh, Amazon.com. Thank you, Katie. Thank you very much.